Archaeologists may have discovered an intermediate chapter of human evolution on the Indonesian island of Flores. Adding to additional discoveries in the past, new fossil evidence shows there was a race of dwarf-like humans that have been referred to as hobbits. So this original discovery took place in 2004, again, uh, in Flores, an Indonesian island, and they found this within a limestone cave. They found this, the bones of this ancient race of humans that were allegedly just one meter tall, they, no. They're called Homo floresiensis, <laughs> but I'm just going to call them hobbits because I don't want to say that long word anymore. Um, but so their brains were uh, a third of the size of ours. And some argued actually that they were modern humans, but that they suffered from certain diseases such as Down syndrome or microcephaly to make them smaller. But this new information, this is, we're totally geeking out right now. Um, this new fossil evidence that they found was also on Flores, but in a different basin that was overshadowed by volcanoes. And they discovered that there might be ancestors to these uh, these hobbits right. that started evolving or, or were there as long as a million years ago. So, and because they found these other hobbit-like creatures, it basically debunks the idea that uh, the original fossils were modern humans that just had diseases. So it looks like these these uh, species actually evolved into hobbit-like creatures. We'll get into some of the 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 science behind that. But what do you think when it's, you hear that? It's cool, the hobbits were real. Okay, I mean, yeah. this, this makes sense. You know, we, we've done reports over um, excessively tall or large people um, in stature 12 feet tall, for example, found their bones found in Siberia in a cave. This makes total sense. Yeah, would, yeah the opposite. And we would find people that are incredibly tiny. Yeah, well, and that's so great. I, I love any time we get new information about these kind of missing links or, you know, anything that kind of pieces together the story of evolution, it's great. But then when you talk about this, you know, the, the variation that's such a huge part of evolution is this idea of variation so the idea is these on this island there's there's varying arguments about what happened but it looks like the the race of people might have been washed ashore there might have been a huge uh, thunderstorm of sorts and then once they're there they it was beneficial for them evolutionarily to actually devolve into these smaller uh, these smaller creatures. Devolved. So to de <laughs> they're devolved. Um, so Adam Brum, he's he's he co-led the excavations of this most recent finding. He's from Griffith University in Queens Queensland, and he has this to say. He says the island is small and it has limited food resources and few predators other than Komodo dragons. So large-bodied mammals that wound up on this rock would have been under immediate selective pressure to reduce their body mass. Being big is no longer an advantage when you're trying to survive in such an isolated and challenging environment. So, you know, the idea is they might have been, uh, an the ancestors of these people might have been uh, Homo erectus, which is the more advanced fossil that we've found. And they shrank? Yeah, what? that it didn't, that, you know, it takes a lot of brain power, a lot of energy to run our brain. We're on this tiny little island. Let, you know, and it only How took did about self shrink. I uh, mean, that come on. Well, three hundred thousand years. Me. That's the that's the expanse of time. And I think right. when when you talk about evolution, people get, you know, when you think about how much time we're talking about that they were able to do this. Now, granted, three hundred thousand years is sort of a blink of an eye in the evolutionary world. But yeah, again, in these particular environments with insane environmental issues, they. I guess they devolved into, into this. So <laughs> it's, it's unclear where exactly they came from. The nearest uh, area is Java. It's about 300 miles away. But I love this stuff. And I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a geek when it comes to this, too. I don't know if anybody's ever read Richard Dawkins' uh, The Greatest Show on Earth. It's about evolution. But he does talk about how with so much time, there are certain species that they evolved from being sea creatures to the land and then back to being in the sea. You know, so it's there's this... Fluid, I know, I'm, she's like, you yeah. are geek world right now. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see if there's uh, further missing links here, uh, but apparently evolution has led to a hobbit race.